Snake, what what's going on? Snake, snake. And I'm very familiar with Shiro motherfucking Emiya. And all the many different Emias that exist. The guy who's just like, I want that, and then gets that. <laughs> I joke, but I swear. I kind of prefer his nameless design more, cause more than anything. Like, with the white hair and the red coat and everything. Standard civilian Shiro Emiya just... No. <laughs> Snack? What's going on? Snack? Snack! <laughs> Colonel, I found is it Colonel, what is it, Snake? I found some extra rations within this box. Good for you, Snake. They taste like snake. Snake? That had better not be your replacement limb. It's my replacement limb. God damn it, Snake! <laughs> Why do I do these things to myself? This is a long window. I'm starting to realize there's just no way I could feasibly fit this. Specifically because it's a long window. And I cannot see my health. Alternatively, see massive kick. Like seriously, this thing has a shockwave so long it can reach from East Coast to Texas. Boot. 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 So I guess maybe this is a little more like Ninja Gaiden, potentially. I've never played Ninja Guide. Okay. Okay, drop down platform. This is a platform. Good to know. That's a bomb. Good to know. Why not? It's not a bad design, credit where it's due. Ow. But at the same rate, I kinda understand what you mean on that. It's like... They have a set design, so why are they changing it so much? Right? Move? That's gonna restore my health. Because I'm getting fairly uncomfortable with my current level of HP. Yep. Okay, doorway. I don't know, maybe, uh, Emiya decided to go someplace tropical? Got a little too tanned? Or maybe he wanted a spray tan. You got me. Kick! Kickies! Boot! I'm getting a little too close for my comfort. Me! Oh.
Yeah, the sword guns are nice, though. You're right on that one. Two and three. This is really nice music. Actually, across the board, this game is really fun. Like, it's a little weird dealing with an attack that leaves you standing still after using it, but... Well, then again, that's how most Castlevania-type games end up work working, so... I've kind of just... I'm kind of just deciding to use it more by jumping first. Dog. Wait, what? I totally hit him! The magecraft he did with himself made him... <laughs> this just in, magic makes you tan. Of course, Blackbeard would be a weeb, considering just how, uh, is it just how many fictional stories is involved with the guy? It's like, uh... Three. And, come on, up here. Take these. You in place? What? Why? Why would you need that? Three buttons to lock you in place, even. Again, why would you need that, considering the type of game this is? Yeah, I'm very well aware of that Columbus is a dick. Because of course he'd be. motivational message that you get when you want is when you die. Take this loss and learn. Good. Someone understands how people gain skill. Learning skills is a matter of luck being rewarded consistently. Someone I see gets that. So, I'm assuming that he just has the most punchable face in the world, any of them? Because that sounds like Columbus. Three. Two. Three. And a very big... Yeah, that would do it. If anything has too big of a smile, you know immediately they're an asshole. 
I swear that's just a trend. Two, three. Something tells me I picked the easier pathway. What? <laughs> that might be a bit of a bug. Wow. Spike's period just one shot. Woo! And apparently you can't fall through those platforms, which is a little inconsistent, but okay. See a spike pit, don't just jump willy-nilly. Hell, just don't jump willy-nilly, period. Actually, I think I might have found a use for the quick round. Ensuring that you stay put. HP. Yeah, don't hit that. I feel so sad for the HP going into the spikes like that, but guess that I said uh I also don't need to fight everything, so I should probably skip a few battles here and there. Oh, that's risky. Three. Two, three. Good. One. Two. Three. Good. Donk. Something tells me I should probably play it safe. Let's just play it safe. Ah, nope. Okay, slightly better. There is no way I can outreach these things. Oh, wait, never mind. Summer Jean d'Arc drops a whale. Was it summons an ocean, drops a whale on your head? All events are canon, even the joke. Oh, God. So many disasters to poke fun at, then. You. Donk. Two. Ah. Oh. is a really precarious situation down there. Three enemies stacked. Three. There we go. Three. Goodbye, Ribbit. Two. Three. more careful, please. Good. Excellent. Less than excellent. Seriously. 
Oh, what? How am I supposed to reach that? to keep some health spare for that? I have no idea. Like, I genuinely don't know how you're supposed to get past that back again. It's a little too... finite. Precarious. Two, and three. School Summers. I've heard of that game. I haven't played it at all. Because, as I thought, the water is a kill hazard. Hello, foe. You have called me for the third time for the last time. You go ding, ding, ding. Okay, technically I don't need to kill anything. So I can afford to go a little bit past this. Especially since I'm at full health, so there's not too much of a need to kill anything that isn't actively a threat. These things are actively a threat. Really? Don't. Hmm. There has to be something I'm missing. Yeah, that's what I've seen of, uh, Tokyo After School. It's mostly fo focused around men. Such, I will give credit where it's credit where it's due. It's novel, and that by itself is a nice thing. I've also heard that. Also heard that. Like some type of extra reach on the attack, right? I have to be missing something. Like, you charge the attack. Let's see. Lore is years away. Was it years from now? May the worlds came together in Tokyo. No one can believe it. Hmm. 
Tokyo becomes essentially a giant NECA. Okay. I have to be missing something. Like... Shit, that's the reset button somehow. Ah. Oh. And I hit new game. I hope it didn't auto save. Yay, me being klutzy. Holy crap, is it hard to use this menu? What? It did save over it. Oh, great. That's really annoying. Like, I like this game, but how are you supposed to get past that one challenge? Because it doesn't look like you have enough reach to attack that thing. Unless you're supposed to, like, fall from the ledge and somehow... That lets uh, all races use their full power, gives extra power to humans. No memories of being summoned, but you have been summoned. Little goat servant, little Solomon. That's cute. 24 different souls. That's a lot. That's a lot of power versatility. Potentially. Three. Good luck indeed. Must dog frog. <laughs> Some guilds in the city from the game. Each has their own goal, fairly powerful. Okay. Three. get a checkpoint by that one. Did I just barely miss it? Dodge. Both ones can use their powers outside the area. Oh, shit. I'm getting attacked. 
Because in the area the game creates, when active, must dance for a Caesar guy. That's actually kind of a cool concept. Considering I have blue stacks and everything, I might take a look at it at some point just for healthies. Probably on my own time when I have some spare time. That is an interesting world, though. Like, I've heard bits and pieces about it here and there, but I haven't exactly had a good opportunity to play the game or take a look at the world at all. And that's kind of a shame. Yeah, I'm... I am... I am aware of the boldness. That's honestly... One of the, this is one of the uh, off points for me, but I'm willing to power through it if the story is easy. Hell, if my sister can. Dio's voice actor. Actually, I can make the legitimate mention and say which Dio on this one, because... Dio Brando or uh, Virtue's Last Reward Dio? Yes, there are multiple Dios. Both of them are dicks, though. It's just one of them is a circus dick. The other likes to stop time and be a dick. Okay then, so it's as I figured. Dio Brando. Not, uh... VLR Dio. And Luke. Yeah. The cursed words have been said. Someone get the guns. One piece. I make jokes. I respect One Piece for going as long as it has with the story it has, but I've been hard-pressed to get into it. Also doesn't help that, in terms of the debate of Pirates vs. Ninja, I'm on the side of Ninja. Yeah, that one especially weirds me out. Like, Tony Tony Chopper makes sense, then Carrot, and I'm like, okay, suddenly it's even more bait. I'm not disappointed just weirded out that one piece of all places is going bait. Well, furry bait, rather. Then again, it makes sense, considering the entire concept is world globetrotting adventure. Gotta have some variety. supposed to get past that mine? I don't see any way to get past it. Because, like, my kick just doesn't have the reach. Have the reach. Hmm. 
Maybe. And by the look of it, I'm just gonna need to fall jump. That's gonna be a weird one to time. Interesting, though. This is definitely a Twitch Reflexes type game. I like that. I wasn't expecting it to be, but hey, that's the world we live in now. I approve. Donk. Alright, you two get down here so I can boot you. Come on, little knight. Two. Three. Good. Yes, that's how you do it. Finally. And by the look of it, it's gonna be a mechanic. Oh, great. Each power is made out of a rule and a roll. They say what your powers are, and then the Get over here, you two. What a donkey. Similar powers can affect the same area at the same time. Good. Oh, wow. Enemy spam. And no HP at all that. Oh, boy. Uh, music got erased? Uh, can't. Sorry. Okay, that makes sense. So, first come, first serve, essentially. There's totally gonna be a boss fight at the end of this, isn't there? Wow, why are there so many enemies? So many babies! 400 babies. This is totally a boss fight, isn't it? What am I supposed to do here? Uh... Game? Game. I'm trying everything. I'm tapping up, down, left, right, left, right, lock movement, kick, jump, high jump kick. There's Jick. There's Jick here. That's really annoying. 
Like, I was expecting a final penultimate boss, and yet there's nothing here. It's almost like there's nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Probably. Really disappointed. Like, I'm actually disappointed. <sighs> oh well. A lot of characters from mythology, Fenrir, the Bahasmut, Hati, Gabriel. Story on Rock is very good. Noted. I actually did try falling off the side, but there was an invisible wall there, such. So there's nothing I could do, dude. 